Good evening, everyone. Today, I would like to answer the question, will we lose the two-meter ham band? Recently, there was a report, and I'll leave the link below, that there's been a proposal by France to make the aeronautical mobile service the primary users of the 144 to 146 megahertz band and denote the amateur radio service to secondary users. The report says that this is part of a broader consideration of the spectrum allocated to that service. At first I really couldn't believe what I was reading. The 2 meter band is not, after all, one of the little used microwave bands. Not only that, for Europeans, 144 to 146 megahertz is their entire 2 meter band. What was really weird about all this is why this is a French proposal and not a European wide proposal. I forget where I read this, but apparently this is a move by the French company fails to grab these frequencies for some kind of system they are proposing. One troubling aspect of this is that according to the ARRL, there's been no strong opposition to this in Europe. The report notes, we hear only one administration in Germany opposed to the 144 megahertz proposal, no one else. The UK microwave group tweeted following the meeting. Otherwise, it has been carried forward to the higher level, CEPT, the Conference for Preparatory Group, CPG meeting in August. I'm not sure that there's much we can do here. Indeed, the IARU has asked its member societies to publicize this news, but refrain at this time from making speculative public comments about the situation until further progress has been made in regulatory discussions. If you're not inclined to sit on your thumbs, have a look at this item that appeared on Reddit yesterday. Petitions to keep 2 meter for amateur band. As you have probably already heard, there is a proposal from France to reallocate the 2 meter band to the aeronautical mobile service. I urge you to take action to prevent the loss of 2 meters, whether this is by means of contacting your local regulatory body directly signing a petition, or other. Please make sure your voice is heard. Every small bit counts. The following two petitions were circulated around my local club. If you're so inclined, take a moment to sign them. And here they are. If you're aware of any petition or ways to voice opposition and help the cause in general, kindly share them with the rest of us. And of course, get out there and make some calls. See you on 2 Meter. I don't think I'm being alarmist here to suggest to you all that the only organization that's really defending our frequencies is the ARRL. If nothing else, that should be a reason for you all to be members. Thank you very much for listening, and have a great day.